What's up, everyone? Welcome to another live live. I've got a huge smile on my face because that, that just grooves so well. Um, everyone, we're here with, of course, Jerry Adolph and his buddy. I'm going to turn my, my speakers up here. And his buddy, Dennis Marcinko. Is that yep, correct? That's, that's it. Right. Yes, I remembered. Uh, amazing bass player. And you guys have been friends for quite a while. You guys played yeah. for with each other for quite a bit. Years, yeah. Uh, years? Night, geez. That's late 70s. 80s? Late 70s. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you guys are like brothers in the musical. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've Dennis, done a lot of sessions yeah. together. Uh, before we yeah. do continue, tell us some of the projects you've worked on, some of the bigger acts that you've well, kind of recorded with. Um, in Calgary, I met a guy named Gay Delorm, and through working with Gay, I got to work with KD Lang's band, and so I did Unreal. the beginning of her career from small bars to Johnny Carson. Uh, after wow. that, I played with Colin James, a local uh, blues guitar player, and, and saw a few continents with that guy opening up for bands like ZZ Top, uh, Keith Richards. The, that was a cool one. Keith Richards and his expensive winos on the first uh, tour. <laughs> so that's good. And, and stuff cool. like that. Uh, since then, I've uh, been moving into country a lot. Because country these days is nothing more than Def Leppard with fiddles. And so having a rock <laughs> background... Having yeah. a rock background moving into country, meeting Jerry and the last 15 or so years or 20 years being in the studio, doing lots of studio stuff. Lots of stuff, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go, guys. These are the two that are going to bring you a lesson today on playing with a bass player. Uh, re realistically, rhythm is, section is drum and bass, and you guys have to communicate with each other. You have to be on the same page. Uh, so this is a very important lesson, and who better to uh, give us some advice than Jerry yeah. and uh, Dennis. So... Before I get into this lesson, because we have a lot to talk about, I just wanted to bring up a couple formalities. Uh, first off, oh, am I still there? Yeah, good to go. First off, we are going to give away stuff like usual today. Um, we've got another drumstick drumio bag here. Perfect for um, your sticks with custom embroidered drumio logo on there. Okay, we also got a drum rudiment system pack to give away. Okay, and what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take... Um, comments from the YouTube video because we're going to upload this video on YouTube uh, on Wednesday, this coming up Wednesday, and what we're going to do is we're going to take random comments from there. Whatever it is you want to want to say, hopefully it's positive, um, but leave your comments below the YouTube video and I will select a couple random uh, winners there once we get that uh, all done and next week we will give those away. I'm also going to give away a couple Drumeo memberships as well, so everybody participate. It's not, it's not that hard. Just go to YouTube, find this video once we've uploaded it. And if you have any questions about the lesson coming up, please leave them right now. Any Drumio members, more than welcome to ask any questions you have because this is going to be a pretty loaded, pretty loaded uh, a lesson. Cool? cool. I, I wanted to be as quick as possible because there's a lot you guys want to talk yeah. about. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, for, first of all, I want to talk to you about the sound. Ain't nothing like the sound of, of the high end of that kick drum with a nice, fat, low bass sound, right? And, and, and the lesson here today, I'm, I'm going to start with uh, showing you, I'll, I'll play with that bass pattern, and then I'll play outside that bass pattern. But I just want to show you what it's going to sound like here. The first, first feel we're going to do in the country uh, thing is called singer-songwriter, and, and it's a basic uh, country feel, and, and they call it singer-songwriter because it's usually the first program they find on their new drum machine. Yeah, yeah. And Dennis is going to start it here and be like... Exactly that. Yeah. You know, you get that feeling, right? And then... Now I'm going to play outside of that now. I'm going to still imply that, but 
I'll play a little outside though. section of the song I'm doing, you know, if I'm playing a verse, if I'm doing a B chorus, Yeah, awesome. uh, uh, notice the difference, but that feel that he's playing, that fat feel, is still implied. I mean, okay, I'll do it by myself once. From there, from there, to here. All right? So basically what you're saying is just playing with him right away. Like, first thing you did was you locked him with what exactly what he was yeah, playing. Yeah, you lock in to, to, to like... You, and I'll use the uh, first verse and stuff, you know, you're doing, you're playing exactly what he's playing. Yeah. Just keep it clean so you can hear the lyrics. Yeah. Start opening it up a bit, you know, for solos and stuff like that. That's what you're doing the other way, you know. Or move to the ride, right? So even though you're playing the same pattern on the bass riff, you're kind of moving it in outside of it, but yeah. keeping that same foundation there, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah, you betcha. And, and, and now I'll play, it, I'll play it simple and I'll let Den play... Um, I, I, a few more notes, okay? So, two, three, four. Okay? Yeah. So that's a difference. He can move outside of me sometimes, you know? Now, the biggest question that I get from, 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 from a lot of drummers is when you're coming up with that pattern, yeah. uh, is it the bass player that, that uh, says, this is the rhythm I'm going to do, or is it the drummer that picks the rhythm? Both or? of us. Both. We both, both of us. We got, uh, I've got a lesson coming up called Studio Prep, mm -hmm. and I'll show you on the charts uh, when I do that lesson. Uh, usually we talk about it, what do you figure, uh, let's do, and on the chart, the first verse, I'll say, how about vom, yeah. vom, vom here, or he'll say, how about bum, 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 and then we'll yeah. listen to the lyrics. And yeah, okay, let's do this, and just write it in. Okay. Uh, well, the song is being played in the control room, and yeah. all the musicians are standing around, and usually I'll find a spot beside Jerry, and these guys might be talking about, okay, you take guitar uh, fills in verse one, and him and I are talking, okay, here's the feel. Uh, here. Okay. We have our own little section. Yeah. While we're listening to the demo, we'll go, what do you think here, what do you think here, right? Yeah. Next pattern I'm going to do is the same along those lines, right? And, and, and me and Dan, I call it a lope, you know, a nice lopey thing. And okay. it's usually for, um, I think I've also, also called it like a young ballad, young, um, young country ballad feel. Mm -hmm. and, and it starts with uh, the bass pattern is boom, 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 down, two. Like a different pattern of the song, it would be boom, the no.
cool. All righty. Yeah. A any questions from you on that, Dave? You want to move? Well, want, for the want first to talk about anything. Yeah, the first thing that I could, that comes to my mind is that, uh, and this is pretty obvious for anybody who doesn't notice, uh, but uh, um, you're basically following his bass riff with your bass drum. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about, and it's what I first said about the sound of that. That uh, <laughs> it doesn't make sense when you hear a bass player and drum player playing two different things, right? You don't get that sock. Do you want to maybe show an example of what that would sound like? Okay, uh, let's. <laughs> it, might, it might be hard for you guys to it's play. It's gonna be hard like for me to do that. Yeah. Uh, how about then? I could play poorly. <laughs> you can play poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it yeah, a shot. Yeah, if you play like, um, okay, we're doing a funk, right? And I'm going to you're playing. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm um, like three, straight eight. So sure. Two, three. That's the totally difference. Totally, night and day. That's there. the difference, you know. Like that, that makes you want to turn into Moe's death. So when you're a drummer, <laughs> yeah. you're, when you're a drummer, you're trying to play a song and you're listening to the pattern. And you, a lot of drummers don't listen to the bass verse. They listen to the oh, they listen to the vocals. Uh, they listen to the piano part. A lot well, of drummers, believe it or not, they don't listen to the bass verse and they'll play a pattern just like that over top of something with yeah, the yeah, so important. And 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 you know what? I was lucky. I guess when I was younger. I, Right away, I liked the sound of that kick drum with the bass. <laughs> right, that's what did it. Right, I, I, I had to hit my right. Yeah. You know. Um, okay, so why don't we move on to some? Uh, let's move on to some Latin, maybe. Okay? Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Same thing with the Latin groove. Uh, you know, uh, playing it real straight. You know, like if Den was going, <laughs> and he said. notice and, and these lessons are good for me too is I'm still catching those accents but one here and one here so I'll play two One thing that I don't know if you heard because you were playing talking, I'm not sure if it came through or not, but oh, yeah. you said you're either, uh, you're still hitting those accents that the bass player was hitting, yeah. that Dennis was hitting there, it's just you're hitting it not with your kick sometimes, with your yeah. snare. How about we break it down? Two, three, four. And then, and then we talked about feel on that one lesson. Yeah. Um, I'll start throwing in some gray stuff. Two, three. Yeah, right? Very cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Very cool. Now, when you guys are getting together, like, how important is it to be? Because I know what you're sat right next to him right now. You can you have eye contact pretty, pretty left clearly. side mm -hmm. or, or 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 here. I gotta see him. You gotta I want to. I want to be by the hi hat mostly. Okay. And uh, sometimes, if I'm not looking at him, if I'm looking at the crowd, if I'm close there, I can feel it. You can feel the sound of the drums and the cymbals beside you. Yeah. Being close is a good thing. Is yeah. there a specific reason why you like being on, on the hi hat side usually, or? Uh, you see the kick. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking earlier about that, Dan. About yeah, uh, about what you would like to see in the studio, maybe sometimes. Well, yeah. I mean, it would be really nice in a studio. You know, when I'm looking at a musical chart, I don't know how this we could do this, but to have some sort of video monitor behind the chart with a kick drum. So uh, when you yeah. when you you know, because it's sometimes hard if the chart's a bit complex. You don't not you know you can't look over at the kick all the time. Yeah. But if it was always there. So if any of you guys are in you know, good with inventions, send me one. <laughs> yeah. That sounds yeah. good. And it's, you were even saying, you sometimes even watch the bass drum head if you can't quite clearly yeah, see Yeah, if I'm in front of him, I will see the head move, the front head, you know. So that's why you're also half a step behind me. Oh, yeah, right, sure. And another oh, thing, okay. too, yeah. uh, in, in a live situation, in a live situation, the hi-hats have to be uh, in the, the moment. Because so you walk away... Milliseconds apart. Now you're not really locked in. So you said have to be in the monitor? The, okay, yeah. Okay, Always sorry. think. Yeah. Get hi-hat in the monitor. If it's a big stage, and a lot of times on a big stage, especially if it's a young performer, they're up there, and if they don't have that in their monitor, they're, they're singing behind the band all night, and it's, you know, it's brutal sometimes, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, um, I, I was going to talk... Talk a bit about the eye contact. Yeah, sure. After playing with that guy for so many years, uh, you know, I, I just gotta go, hey, or, yep. or, or, or like well, whatever, right? And we know what lick you we're gonna do happening. at that point. Yeah. Like this in a live situation, you know. Yeah. Um, and and it just works. You guys have obviously had the. Um uh, luxury of playing with each other for so long. There's a lot of people out there that meet a, ba a, a band for the first time or for an audition. They don't know that bass. They don't have that connection yet. So I guess well, eye contact is pretty important. Well, yeah. And a lot of them don't know that it's heads up all the time. There's some... Uh, I, I, I hear quite often of a young drummer playing with a group who wasn't watching all night. And just like, boy, 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 that's... I'm still pinned to everyone when I play now, right? Absolutely. And yeah. soloists, you know, because sometimes you'll have a chart that says, okay, the solo's going to go through twice. Well, maybe. <laughs> they might carry on. Yeah, and so in that case, going. you know, watch. Yeah. Watch. Keep, yeah, keep watch them for the heads up, you know? Yeah, yeah cool. You had some other styles that you wanted to do? Yeah, sure. Uh, how about we do uh, we'll get some shuffle stuff now. I uh, remember we were doing that Killer Joe kind of shuffle yeah, uh, thing. So we'll, then we'll start this. Yep. And, and, and what I'll do is I'll play And then I'll play with some accents more swingy. Okay. Okay? What kind of tempo you want? Two, three, four. Straight shuffle, yeah. To uh, you know, more of a swing shuffle. So, so maybe uh, let's show them the difference. We'll do like a funk, and 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 then after that, we'll do like an upswing. Okay. Okay. So two.
and now bump dum dum Awesome. Uh, the one thing I noticed right away, being a, being a drummer myself and, and uh, listening to you play, um, the one thing that I, I feel so good in this room, just listening to these two groove, and you're not doing a lot of fancy stuff, you're not doing a lot of fancy fills, what, what makes it lock in or sound so good is you're just locking in together. Yeah, it's that feel. Yeah. It's that feel, like, and, and, and you know, like I've done a lot of lessons here for you. Yeah. Uh, right away with the bass. It just locks it all in, right? Yeah, exactly. So you're, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're no more in focus when you're um, in a singer-songwriter or you're in a group where, uh, uh, you know, the bass player or whatever, your number one focus is locking in with him. Lock in with him. And, and also, you know, like especially in the studio, like a lot of times we'll speed up or slow down a track if, if either one of us feel the singer's rushing. Yeah. His words a little. Yeah. Can't get him out. Let's pull it back. Like, and it's really funny. A lot of times, one or two beats make such a difference. Let's boot it up one beat, and and to say if it was. Bounces a little better, you yeah. know. Yeah, and you guys got obviously be on the same page for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I try something? Yeah. Can I get you to play a riff, mm -hmm. and I just want you to listen to it and tell us as a, as a drummer and as the uh, members here, tell us what you're listening for when you're coming up with a groove to that riff, and it just okay. Random, whatever you want to do, improvise. So Jerry, what are you thinking when you listen to this? Okay, first thing is is that tempo pulled. Okay. Right. And there is a bit of busyness going on with the bass underneath the bomb, 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 bomb. Gotcha. Yep. Right. But 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 the thing I'm hearing, what's important? Is that back. It's pulled a bit. Like it. if that's a beat, it's just behind center. Okay. Yeah. You know. So. so. Cool. Yeah. 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 It, it's like still having uh, that. Now do the same same pattern again. Try and do maybe a little less or a little more, change it up a bit. How would you go about doing that without being too busy? Okay, or so we'll play it. I'll, I'll start by doing uh, like I'll play it a little quieter, and I'll play exactly what he's doing, and then I'll start opening it up. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay.
real. And I didn't change a thing. I know. I was listening. Yeah. I was going to mention. That. I didn't change a thing. Yeah. And yet yeah. it was six different songs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and all you're doing, like, I really like when you added a lot more bass drum in there. Little go. Oh, that. There. And one kick. Yeah. You young <laughs> buggers with your double kicks. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Right? There you go. Yeah. Who, need, who, need, who needs double bass, right, Jerry? Yeah. Oh. Okay, there's a couple more things we want to do. Um, actually, while I got the sticks here, we'll move on to some train. Yeah, sure. Stuff. Um, and then out of the train stuff, I'll move, you know, the brushes doing the yeah. train stuff, and then we'll do some swing stuff with the brushes. Sure, yeah. Okay? yeah. Um, so, boom, dum, boom, dum, boom. So, I'm just going to show them what I'm going to do on the kick with the two beat uh, country uh, uh, train feel, okay? Three, four. Man, I was smiling halfway through. That was just too good. <laughs> Any questions about anything there, Dave? We have a bunch of questions, but I want to get to those at the end. Yeah, um, like nothing pretty, from you on that. That was pretty pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you're just keeping that four to the floor. Yeah. You have kind of that's your pair, diddle. But it's where you land it. It's where I put the accent. Just so you know what that was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Whatever it was, I loved it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You'll just do one more thing for Yeah, you. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Sure. So these are called brushes. Yes. Yay. Yay. Yeah, and, and, and they're well used. And in the old days, it was, okay, drummer, toss me a salad. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? So, so we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do a shuffle. We're not going to do any jazz for it. We're just going to do some feel brushes for you, okay? okay. So, boom, ba -dum, ka -dum, ka -dum. two, three.
do some up now, and then we'll finish off our part with those uh, with the trading thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, we'll do like a uh, one. I could do a whole lesson, hour-long lesson, just with you two <laughs> jamming. Who needs to teach anything, right? But uh, uh, two things I wanted to go over there. First off, what made you decide not to follow him when he was doing those eighth notes? Do, 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 do. Because you were playing on the quarters there. Uh, what made you decide not to do that? Uh, I'm going to start doing that. On oh, your bass drum, sorry. Uh, a part of a song, like a Texas swing. So he's playing, uh, just play uh, one and three. Depends on who's taking a solo at that time. Yeah. It's just like, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know, years ago doing a jam, you have five soloists on stage at the Yale, and someone calls a slow blues. And, and as a drummer, okay, for his first time, I'll play on the ride. For his second time, I'll play on the ride. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? Well, in a situation like an upswing like that, unless it's a drum solo, you change up the feel of it, you make it more subtle and then you build it, you know. And I was also going to say, like, when you did your bass solo, you basically dropped off the bat, but keep, kept a little bit of time on the high. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll show you just one thing here. Uh, so, so, so if we're doing an up funk. Drop out a lot of the bass drum. You let him. Yeah, do yeah. Like I'm just basically marking one. Yeah. Of the bar. <laughs> and, and Dennis, to add to that, what yep. what do you hate when a drummer when you're playing a solo and you're playing with a yep. drummer that doesn't know what he's doing or or what is the, what is the one thing you hate when you when you're when you're playing a drum solo or a guitar solo? Right? If I'm playing a bass solo. <laughs> if bad. I'm playing a bass solo, 
at the beginning of a bass solo, you, as a drummer, you have to play quietly. <laughs> Just <laughs> let me try to establish where this is going to go. So it might, uh, <clears throat> I mean, some guys want to start off, you know, when it's all, it's all thumb and slapping, yeah. and it doesn't really matter. I mean, the, the drummer can keep rocking with you. Yeah. But if I'm if I'm starting like I'm, like yeah. I'm not doing much there, but I'm trying to sing uh, a song. Yeah. I've got to be sensitive to what he's doing. So we'll yeah. start it. Two, I think I think if I were to ever ever give direction, and I don't usually give direction to drummers, I'm not a drummer, but let me have a little bit of space at the beginning, and let me try to establish where we're going to go. Yeah, and as a drummer, at that point, he's driving the truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm there to accompany him. It's his it's his semi at that point, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, and 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 I've I've got to be able to hear where he's going subtly. Maybe he's just adding a couple things here and then I'll do a couple little shots yeah yeah but I gotta be able you know to hear the intensity that he's playing yeah because sure. it might start quietly it might go yeah yeah you know gotcha yeah um and furthering that I would love to hear your opinion Dennis on what you like about certain drummers like what do you look for in a drummer as a bass player um, and I'll ask you the same question about a bass player after, but I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Where's the beat going to fall? <laughs> yeah. Where is it going to fall? Um, because it has to be, I mean, a lot of drummers right now, and I think a lot of the young drummers have a bit of an advantage over we had when we first started out because a lot of them are playing with a click track. And they're playing along with tracks. They're in Garage Band. They're in uh, uh, Pro Tools or whatever. And there's always a click there. When we were starting out, it wasn't that way. And so consequently, a lot of drummers had a lot of bad time. I think for a bass player, you can't... Your time just can't be good enough here. Working with Jerry is the, most, is the guy that I trust the most. And where you put the snare, too, there's another one. If the snare is just a little behind, you know, it's at the back end of the bar... Yeah then that makes more room for me and I put a sound here and the smack, it yeah. comes at the perfect time. Yeah, yeah. Good, uh, good to know. And um, yeah. Jerry, what about you? What is one thing well, you look for in a bass player? Well, it's the same thing as a bass player. Like if I'm doing a certain groove in the studio or live, he's got to listen, you know, mm -hmm. you know, the intensity I'm playing. Yeah. And uh, it just, you know, it's just staying out of the way of one another and yeah. doing this instead of that, you know? Yeah. So uh, there he is. There's the guy. I call it the sit. Yeah, you know, like we do. get any better than that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fun. Like I said, I can just do an hour well, next time. It's fun. Yeah. get you in and just jam the whole time. That's yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the basic underlying thing that I see is just listening to each other is, is, is super key. I know um, uh, I've been in situations where I play with a bass player who just does not even pay attention to you. Oh, oh. He's got his own chart in front of him. That's what he's playing and, and vice versa too. I've also been in a situation where the the drummer, I've seen drummer, and, and I've actually been there too when I was starting out where yeah. I knew this is the beat that I wanted to play because it's the, the beat from Chili Peppers and I love that beat. <laughs> Regardless of whether the bass player is going to play or not, I'm playing that group. I'm playing yeah. that beat. And they just clash. Because yeah. I spent hours learning it at home. <laughs> there you go. Right. Got to show it off. <laughs> Got to show it off now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, like I said, like what you guys are doing there, some of the stuff you're doing was pretty simple. Uh, you were playing and you were playing, but it grooved so well together. Yeah. Man, I lived it. Yeah, that's it, good. buddy. So yeah. then you start putting a great guitar player, a keyboard player on top of that. On, on top of that stuff who feel the same way about oh. Pocket as we do. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a thing of magic, you know? Exactly. Um, before we get into questions, was there any last little, little piece that you guys wanted to play or, or show us any examples or anything like that? Anything that came um, to your mind about just playing? Yeah. To um, 
why don't we do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you a thing as a drummer again. I'll do like a bo diddly bump, bump, dum, 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 bum, and I'll work in and out of that, okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, so, two. Talking about your hands. fantastic and if, you, if anybody didn't catch that uh, what you were doing there from what I saw at least is you were following him for uh, with the bass drum for the most part and then when yeah. you wanted to break it up going to more of a top thing you kept yeah. it four to the floor yeah but you still accented his shots with your hands kind of like what I did earlier with the Latin stuff right yes. and those are still implied all the time yeah and, and you know what it's a tough thing and and it's just kind of something I just learned over the years you know yeah. Uh, yeah. it just you know, You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay, so let's get to some questions because I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a ton of them out there. Um, okay, oh, yeah. one second here. Yeah, my wife. When are you coming home? Yeah, right. <laughs> Bring when, milk. Bring milk. When you <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, for everybody who's watching, if you tuned in a little bit late, we are still giving away stuff, and I have got a Drumio stick bag, embroidered Drumio stick bag to give away. I've got the Drum Rudiment System, which is a $200 course, and I've got two memberships to Drumio, month-long memberships to Drumio. And how you do that, just to let you guys know, we're going to upload this video to YouTube on the 27th of June, so this Wednesday. All you need to do is... Leave a comment. That's all it is. Say, I love Jerry. Say, I love Drumio. Say, uh, this is my favorite lesson. Whatever it is, I hope it's positive. But what I'm going to do is next week, the following Monday, which is July 1st, I believe, um, I'm going to, sorry, July 2nd, my bad. I'm going to uh, announce the winner and I'm just going to choose some random people in there. You're going to win free shipping and everything. So make sure you guys participate. YouTube.com. I think it's on the free drum lessons channel from, from us. So check that out. Now, let's get to some questions here because this is a, a very loaded topic. We get, People asking questions about this all the time. How do I play with a bass player? What am I looking for? So here's some questions for you. First one's from Captain Kickars. He says, as a bass player, <laughs> he says, as a bass player, uh, we kind of talked about this already. Maybe you can just briefly go over it. What are five things you really want from your drummer? Not the obvious stuff, but outside the box. Um, maybe just a couple things. I know we just yeah. talked about this, but. Uh... Wow. Wow. Keep it, keep it real steady. Keep it real steady. Make sure that when I stop playing for any reason, people in the room I can still see are tapping their feet. Yes. Uh, keep it really, really steady. Jeez, uh, think outside of the box, huh? Yeah, do things differently as opposed to being just so predictable. If you're a predictable drummer, then you're going to sound like everyone else. And if you're a little more interesting, you may have noticed that Jerry was, you know, like playing, uh, you know, snare hi-hat, snare hi-hat, in, in a way that you may not see all the time. Mm -hmm. That's something that you're going to be able to uh, uh, accentuate a song and make it feel that much better and sell yourself. That's yeah. two. Number three, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but well, it's it, getting more the, and more. Th those but, two alone were great. I mean, yeah. obviously you don't have to do five on the spot, but no. just Number like... three, make the drummer buy you a beer. That's right. Yeah. The drummer <laughs> buy the beer. That's right. Oh, sure. The drummer brings the beer, he'll always be called back. <laughs> That's right. That's why I'm still getting gigs. Yeah. <laughs> I can't play, but Absolutely. I can bring beer. 
No, I'm kidding. Uh, Dirty Wendell says, hey, guys, do you know... This is a really good question, by the way. Um, yeah. Uh, do you know which beats the bass player is playing that are the most important to make sure your bass lines up with? Seeing as the bass player and the drummer can play outside the main beat, is there a way to determine which accents they should be lining up with? One. One. <laughs> or, or I guess in some cases, reggae where it's two. Yeah, yeah. Two. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. happening at the top of the bar? That's a Basically. big question. What's yeah. happening at the top of the bar? And bar, what's happening here? Boom, bap, 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 so everyone knows where that is. Yes, exactly. Cool. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a good point. And I know with Latin stuff too, I mean, there's certain um, uh, well, vowel patterns and different kind of patterns that you play that are more important. But basically, yeah. Yeah, make sure that one or the what you say, the beginning of the bar is, note, mm -hmm. is heard. Uh, Daniel J. Jones says, great lesson, guys. Best one yet. Awesome, Daniel. Uh, thanks, Jerry and Dennis. Just wanted you to know that uh, if Dennis plays drums at all. Do you play drums at all? Very poorly. And I'm not that big a guy. I, I like carrying smaller objects. <laughs> <laughs> not like Jerry here, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, Crip, um, sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Crip, Cripriotem says, uh, Dave, a play along from the two. You guys can play us out. Is that all right? Sure. When we end the lesson, you guys are going to play us out. Just jam for as long as you want. Have sure. some fun. Why it's going to be a blast. Okay, next question is from Casey. Not a question, just a comment. I am now Jerry and Dennis's biggest fans. You guys are awesome. Ah, right on. Yeah, you guys do. You sound so good. And like I said, I feel honored to be able to sit in here and listen to you guys. The feel from the kit, and I don't know what it is. It just feels so good. So let me continue with some of these questions here. This one's from Avargas94. It says, how would it sound if the bass player is playing a polyrhythm over top of the drummer? Uh. <laughs> Might be just like a different rhythm, I guess, over top. Yeah, uh, okay. you know what? Uh, let's see here. Let's try and figure something. Uh, well, well, I, we'll just do like a three or four thing. Just play a standard thing, and I'll try to see what he's yeah. asking. And we'll reverse that if you play one, two, three, three four. No. I'll play in three. Okay. Two, three. Okay. okay. Got it, yeah. That's what it'll sound like. There you go. <laughs> You know what? I have I, I I have to butt in. There's one thing I want to say. Sure, go for it. Um, for I think it was Captain. I Captain can't remember Kickers. his name. And he said, you know, think of the five things you want from a drummer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to add this one, and this one I think might be the most important one. Play the song. <laughs> Play the song. Quite often, a, a, a drummer, if he's young, or maybe you're just joining in, or maybe if you're tired of the format ah. or the book that you've been playing for the last yeah. two years yeah. with the same singer, all of a sudden things get really inventive on stage, and then I, it makes my yeah. job so much harder because the drummer isn't playing. The song. Pay, pay homage to the songwriter yes. and what the songwriter wrote. Boy. I can't agree with you more. That is When huge. you want to experiment, you do it in the basement, not when you get paid to back someone up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. You're not, you don't want to just be fill after fill after fill or yeah. check yeah. out my new double bass pedals I bought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Uh, Jim Bridgman says, um, I really like to see more lessons like this. This is so cool. He says, as you guys know, I just started playing and I have been wondering what it would sound like with other musicians after watching this. I can't wait to try. So you guys are inspiring. Cool. Very cool. cool. Fantastic. Um, okay, uh, this one's from Mean Mike. says, please let Jerry know he's a great musician and his bass player is also, sorry I can't remember his name, Dennis Marcinko. 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 Okay, this one's from Dr. Pepper. It says, hey Dave, can we get these two awesome players to lay down a couple play-alongs? Their pocket is so tight. We're going to get them to play us out, and uh, I definitely, definitely want to get you in again sometime, Dennis. I hope, oh. you're, I hope you're okay with that. Did you have fun so far? Oh man, this is this is, this is a great time. I mean, just being able to play with Jerry to be, and and actually, yeah. we quite often we don't sit and talk about it. Yeah, we just yeah. Do it, it. It's like 
Yeah. It, it it ties a few things, you know, together for me yeah. with his plan. Yeah. Too, because all of a sudden there we are. Like, um, hey, Dan, why don't you come over? Let's jam. Nah. No, the hockey's <laughs> on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a question here. <laughs> yeah. This one's from Trimmy. He says, hey, guys, for Phil's, do you want the same locked-in feel between the bass and the guitar? Uh, sorry, bass drum and the guitar. If there is no bass drum in the fill or the toms, um, uh, or does it keep the groove going within the fill? I guess he's just trying to say, is during your fills, do you change your groove up? And as a bass player, too, when he's playing a fill, do you change your groove up at all? But I guess that question goes both ways. Um, yeah. Um, I'll solve this right now. Yeah. We'll play like a rock thing. Bum, sure. Bum, 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 bum. Play less play. to give him more room. He's got to have the pulse going still there, right? Yeah. Right, like if I'm playing a film. Very cool. Okay. So if you guys didn't catch that, um, basically Dennis was saying sometimes he'll play the full way through, and then other times he'll play half the notes. I'll yeah. play instead of like this. I'll go. Because a lot of focus is now on him. But I yeah. don't want, yeah. and, and if I'm playing the same thing, now it's getting cluttered. Yeah. He doesn't want to, and, and the same thing is if he's playing bump, bump, bump. But this was actually on my lesson here. Sometimes with rock, one and three, two, three. Man, that hole is just so beautiful. Two, three. Now play a fill. Play a fill with that. I okay, two. So you didn't even play your bass drum at all for that fill. It was no. more just feel. And it's great because it broke it up. A fill is supposed to change the feel of the song a little yeah, bit yeah. Yeah. as a transitional piece. Yeah, the bass it up, it's, like, bum, bum, bum. It, it's exactly. like winding the crank, you know. Yep. Winding her up and letting her go, you They're know. Building that tension and then release with the bass drum. Then you got it. Perfect. Yeah. Hopefully that helped you out, Tremmy. It definitely uh, was a <laughs> great answer, yeah. great demonstration. Yeah. Um, Okay, here we go. This one here is from Drummer a Drummer for Jesus says, is there ever a time when the drummer should lead? Should what? Should, when there, is there ever a time where the drummer should lead? Lead? Lead, like maybe lead the feel, lead, lead the tempo, lead the, the groove. Uh, like play like faster or? Uh, all he says is that I'm assuming. Well, well I'm lead, lead to me means the drummer's always driving the truck. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. Right, so uh, uh, let me give you an example here. Okay, so... So we're playing. Uh, let's go uh, uh, that rock thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and oh, oh no, I, I know a good one. Quite often, me and Dan will be doing a jam. Oh, right. <laughs> Do that again. You, you guys didn't even look at each other. You guys just knew I'd that was just held up triplet. Yeah. Right. Two. No way. Three. Right? Unreal. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, that's that's kind of stuff. Or we'll be playing along, and then the guy will be playing a solo, and then we'll do the break, okay? okay. Like, uh, I'll do it right before the four. Two, three. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and that's what goes on on stage. So that's the lead. Oh, yeah. All, all the time, man. Yeah, no kidding. From me. Yeah. Or, wrong! Wrong! If I, hit the, if I hit the ditch, I'm always, wrong! He's like, thanks a lot, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> I so stopped always, doing that. <laughs> Jerry, so it seems like you're always leading, basically. You're yeah, from yeah. the back yelling, oh, yeah. up the threes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you didn't even see it happen, did you? I, I didn't even see it happen. Oh. All of a sudden, you guys nailed that part. And another thing that... I, I, 
only I do with all these guys that I play with is the ending, the fan ending. How do you know that's the ending? You must have rehearsed it. Right now, I'll show you what to do. Gotcha. Whatever I play. Or if I go. So you give, and this, this goes for the whole other band, not just the bass. Yeah, no. yeah. everybody. Yeah. A everyone. A, 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 a couple times after a few beer, we'll go. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and of course the break song. Oh yeah, here we go. Now, now this is what I learned in a legion years ago with those guys, and it would start like a fast swing. But <laughs> our break song with everyone I play with, they just watch me, and whenever I, uh, but they play anything they want. Yeah. So I'll every. Go. <laughs> <laughs> or. That's awesome. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I think, German for Jesus' question. I hope that answers your question yeah. there, Greg. Uh, yeah. Because, like yeah. I said, that, that uh, you're always in the leader's seat, I guess, yeah. for, for, for yourself. Um, okay, here we go. Drumjack52, this is a question for you, Dennis. He says, how is the bass tuned, specifically the lowest pitch string? Usually it's E, A, D, G, low to high. How is your uh, bass tuned? Because you got a five string there? Same thing, but I got a five string. Uh, okay. Playing country music a lot these days, you end up playing a lot of uh, low... So this is a low B. B is in baseball, so B, E, A, D, G. Perfect. Thanks for that. Cody Edwards says, hey guys, awesome lesson today. But when a bass player does a fill, do you just keep the beat or can you drum fill at the same time? Uh, how about both? It's up to me. So, what, a, what about you as a bass player, Dennis? Do you, do you like your fills to be alone? Do you care? Is it... I guess it's how it feels. I guess yeah. if it's how it feels. if it's if it all of a sudden feels a bit herky jerky, then I'll just play a little less and patiently wait for it to be over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Or uh, <laughs> or or uh, like in the case with Jerry, I will try to add to what he's doing to without doing. Yeah. without uh, wrecking the groove. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, gee, what kind of song would that be? Uh, the, Okay, that feels. So your feel's gonna be. Yeah. You're gonna bounce it, you're not gonna go. say it doesn't matter what you guys play it's going to sound good anyway so <laughs> i guess there's no wrong yeah. answer there because i mean you guys made that feel feel so good both playing the film yeah. you know yeah. the thing is if we're both tapping our foot at the same time no matter yeah yeah what, yeah. yeah you're always you guys yeah. are always on the same page yep yeah. cool tinkata says jerry and dennis you guys are great you need a longer session from you guys when playing with a new drummer slash bassist. How do you start to develop the groove on a song, and then how do you decide how the groove should progress? Uh, well, well, as far as going with the groove, uh, as far as it should progress, well, you still got to play the song, right? You still play the song. Uh, go as far as you can without being sloppy and getting away with it. Yeah. Of anyone else in the band, you know, like. I kind of call it finding your spots. Mm -hmm. So, say for this one. Stuff like that. And just find your spots, but you gotta keep that groove going. And don't ever do that when someone's trying to sing. 
I was gonna, I was gonna say that was the, the the key thing you said there is make sure you're not stepping on anybody else's heels. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Especially when you got a song or singer. And I think a drummer can't player, do that. A lot of guys hate. Like, say a, and a guy's playing solo like on guitar, and he goes, bam, 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 right, and I go. Oh, don't read their mail. Yeah, yeah, don't read their mail. I like that. Don't read their mail. It's, yeah. it's his soul. You can catch the end of it, right, or something like that, but some some guy will play everything the guitar player's playing. It's just, you know. And the, the worst part about that, Jerry, is the drummer probably thinks he's doing a good job. Oh, exactly. Complimenting the, the I guitar I did it too solo. when I first started playing. Wham, wham, beer balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool. Um, you guys, we're, we're out of time. It's 5.02 already. What? Okay. I know. Time flies. No. Uh, I, I uh, apologize for anybody who didn't get their questions answered. Um, skate, skate. Uh, I'm not going to say the last part of your name, but one of the guys' name in here uh, just asked us, missed this lesson. Is this going to be on YouTube? It will be on YouTube on Wednesday, uh, this Wednesday, June 27th, I believe it is. Um, and anybody who wants to win, like I said, I have prizes here that I am giving away, stick bag, Dang drum rudiment and system, <laughs> membership, a lesson, private lesson with these two maybe, no? no? <laughs> Maybe Unfortunately, give us a call. <laughs> give us a yeah, call, yeah. Sure. Um, but uh, we are going to give away that stuff, and that's all. All it is is I'm going to be choosing people who've commented on the YouTube video, um, and it'll be at random. So make sure you get your comments and when it's posted, and then July 2nd, which is the next Monday lesson, is when I'm going to give those away. Okay, and I, I'm definitely going to get you guys in again on another lesson because hey. I keep refreshing this, and I get 10, 12, 15 new messages every time I do it with our questions for you. Don't hit refresh. I'm not going to hit refresh anymore. <laughs> Thanks everybody, or thanks everybody so much for coming out. Jerry, yeah, it was Dave. a pleasure. Yeah, man. Dennis, I will come by and yeah. uh, high five. High five, high five, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank you.